Hey there, it's Maggie, Grammy with a hammer. Today I'm going to do a shop project. I have been putting it off. I need a crosscut sled from my table saw. I have a Ryobi table saw and I've tried to find things to fit it and nothing's working. So I'm biting the bullet and I'm going to try it. So the simple ingredients for it, I've been watching Steve on woodworking for mere mortals and everything. So plywood. And most plywood's gonna have two sides that are square. Double check it. But this one is 26 inches this way. And how far this way? And 18 and a half this way. And each one of us is going to be a little bit different depending on our table saw. Another thing I don't like about my table saw, which I'll show more when we're lining up the track thingy, is it only has one of the um, track thingies. I know there's an official name for it and I'll try to figure it out before we get to the gluing the track thingy on, and screwing the track thingy on. But anyway, so this is 26. And what I did was, because if you get the nice pine boards, then they're pretty square and straight. So I cut these down 26, and I did four of them. Because I'm thinking like two on the back and two on the front. And then I cut down just this thin strip to go in the track thingy, which I'm not sure if this will work or not, but we'll figure it out. Now hold on, I'm going to lower the camera down so you can kind of see my deer. And I was thinking I'd glue these up on my um, panel clamps, but like here and here, for the back, and then do the same thing for the front so that you have one on the edge and one on the front of it to make sure it's all set but um i gotta cut these all down but i gotta sand them down they're still pretty rough so and you're going you're not using a power sander no one reason is my elbow still hurts terribly but the other one is because <laughs> i loaned my um brad nailer to one of the guys at work which is a craftsman so it has my charger and my ba Craftsman batteries with it. And my sander is a Craftsman. So, but anyway, so I'm going to sand these up and get the um, board, the panel clamps ready. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to try to block the light. Okay, so what I'm going to do, start off with is the edges and panel clamp that. Hopefully that'll work. And what I thought is I would use CA glue too, so that it kind of clamps together whether it wants to or not. But I'm also worried about my Type Bond 3. It got cold here, and I know, don't come at me saying about Florida, especially Southwest Florida, I don't know what cold is. I do know what cold is. I am from Maine. But what I'm saying, it got cold for Florida. I've used wage. So I'm just worried that my tight bond, yikes, I'm making a mess. I'm worried that my tight bond isn't going to be gluey enough. Does that make sense? Easy enough, sticky enough. I don't know. I'm going to put like three blobs. Oh, shoot. You know what I just did? I put these on the end. It's not supposed to be on the end. Hold that thought. Now you all could tell me I was messing up. Because I just messed up. Big time. Okay, so we're gonna try that again because it needs to be on 
sides. Sometimes I swear. Okay, now I'm going to put the dollops. attach this. Hopefully it doesn't make a freaking hot mess, which I kind of feel like I already have. Okay, so we're going to do that. Now we're going to do this side. And then we're going to tighten the panel clamps. Oh God, I've made such a mess with this glue. <laughs> like bad mess. Like, oh my God, mess. I'm trying to get this glued up before it's dark and you can't see me. Okay. Next, we're going to clamp it. Just worried that it's not going to be able to clamp very well because of the for obvious reasons. And then we do this one. So I was thinking, guys, we could do that here. Oh, wait. And then just smoosh this all over the place. And you're going, oh my God. Yeah, I know. This isn't what Steve did in his. Video. Whatever. And then I'm going to get some little clamps to put there. Quick question. Does anyone know where my little orange clampies are? So i got to find those too. Hold that thought. Okay, I'm back. So I couldn't find my little orange clamps. So we gotta go on to bigger clamps. But whatever. Oh shoot. Okay, squeeze the trigger. Okay. Put the cover on the CA glue. Hopefully this will work. What do you think? You think this is going to work? I feel like this should be tightening more. Is it because this isn't? Oh, you know what it is. This side isn't in the little doohickey. There we go. They've got to be in the little doohickey or they won't tighten. Look at that. So much better. Okay. okay let me block the light again. I'm going to let this dry overnight. Then I'm going to go to work tomorrow. And then tomorrow night after work, we'll deal with the next issue. Okay? Okay. Can't see me. I got like a halo. Let's see. Does that help at all? No. How do you look the light? Oh, whatever. Is that better? Not really, because then it's still dark. Anyways, that's why I have to get done filming. I'll see you tomorrow when there's sunshine again. Bye. Okay, I'm back. And while that's drying, my next thought is I'm going to scalp parts. Does that make sense? I got two of these miter gauge thingies for the, and I don't know which one. One goes to the old Harbor Freight table saw I had. That was the first table saw I had. It's actually in my neighbor across the street's attic. He's been so sweet. Let me store it there. But I bought it for my first real project when I made a Murphy bed with plywood and everything. And I needed a table saw to cut down the plywood. 
because then I didn't realize you could cut it down with a skill saw. Anyways, I digress. Here I go on a tangent. So I'm going to try both of these and see if one of these fit. Because if they do, then what I want to do is I want to take the screws out and I want to use this as a track on my crosscut sled. Okay. So I'm real high tech. Okay. That's not going to fit. I would actually bought track thingies, but I lost them. Okay. That fits. That will be the one. I'm going to pirate this one. Be back. Okay. So this is the track we'll attach onto the back of our crosscut sled. So it can slide all the way through. I'll be back and we'll take it out of the clamps. Okay, good morning. I got a day off. Not much of a day off, but a little bit of a day off. So we've had this, I know in your world it's been about two minutes. In my world it's been like two days. And clamps. So I put the one by fours doubled up here, as you can see, to make sure everything's straight and everything. And then I used the um, panel clamps that I use for my cutting boards and stuff. I used that on the bottom. So looks like I glued it to it. Here we go. Let me take this out. The next question is, I've seen people use Johnson's Paste Wax, but I also heard that they don't make Johnson's Paste Wax anymore. So, what do you all use? Okay, so then I'm seeing on the bottom, see it's like uneven right here, which I don't know how I did that hand in on panel clamps. So, what do I do? Do I just sand that? What do you think? Just sand it down flat? I would say use my hand planers, but my hand planers I inherited are at my dad's getting restored. So I'm going to sand these down so it's nice and smooth and the glue messes away, and then we'll figure out how to put the T-track in. So unless you want to watch me sand, hold that thought. So what I did here was the first thing I did was I took the square and I checked to make sure that my table saw table was actually square and it is so that I could line up this to that so that's what I did first and trying to figure out the best placement of where I want it and then let's see where is it okay so this thingy is going to go in here and we're going to attach it to there so it slides in and I'm hoping you can see that with the sun, but I'm kind of stuck at my placement here. So um, what I want to do is I want to mark where I want that to be so I can attach it. But I also saw where they put like stuff underneath it to make it up a little bit more, but I want to make sure before I do that, I know exactly where it's going to be. So what I want to do, I like that spot on the table saw. I'm going to mark each side of there, and I'm going to do it on the other side. Okay, so that's what we're going to do next. Okay, I tried the whole popping things up, and that seemed kind of stupid. So my next thought was, I've already marked where I want to be on each side, upside down. So, like, why don't I make straight lines and just do it from there with what I've already done? I think that's what I'm going to do. So, hold on. So, I've drawn the lines on here where I want everything to be. And because I'm sharing a garage with a golf cart and everything else, I can't find my tea thingy. But, it's all right. We're going to assume that my Craig thingy 
is a straight line. So we're going to line it up. Okay, let's first do this. This would make the most sense. this works okay so like I got it like that so my thought was because it's metal that I was gonna screw it on I don't really have screws thin enough Don't come at me. This is a steel hardener. So what if I was to do JB Weld and CA glue? Do you think that might work? My thought. Let me know what you think. So that's what I'm thinking. So first I'm going to do this, and it's one to one, right? It's my wrench over here, pliers over here. this is one to one so I'm gonna put about that much let me put it over here so you can see the hot mess I'm gonna make and then I'm gonna put about that much that looks about the same right okay that's what we're going with this eggs don't pour over Okay, yeah, that's making a mess. Put you over here. Stay. And then I'm gonna mix it up together. Da, 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 da. Okay, so next I'm gonna put dollops. Dollops, dollops, dollops. Don't know if this will work. But we're going to try it. Dollops, 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 because it's metal. And this is wood. But we'll see. And then I'm also going to do this. Yikes. In between the other spots. Then I'm going to make sure I do this right, because that way. Okay, we need to make sure it's square. That. And next I was going to spray some of this down. That again. Because that's my next question is this has got to be flat. 
oh, without sticking your fingers to it. Other issue. How long do you think I need to hold it? It says instantly, but we still have the JB weld. Okay. This is square. I sure hope to God that's square. Let's check. It seems to be square. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to let this sit and chillax. And I'll to drink my coffee and be back. All okay, right. So I'm back. That seems pretty tough. Here it goes. Nothing. Everything. It works. It works, it works. It's still really clunky. What do you that's where I need like the paste wax, huh? But it's alright. One miracle at a time. Okay, so the next thing we gotta do is we gotta run the blade through it. Let me get the cord. Okay, sorry. Takes a minute to get everything because it's gotta run to the inverter. The inverter's gotta be turned on. Everything takes a minute. Okay, and we need hearing protection. And then... We don't need it extremely high. We just need it... Okay. So we're going to do that because so we don't want to cut all the way through the one by fours, but we want to cut enough. Okay, we got a cross cut. So next thing, will it work? So we got this, we got this. And this is gonna make it Zero clearance. Okay, I made a zero, uh, not zero, but you know what I mean, a cross cut sled for my table saw. Um, I think I'm actually going to take <coughs> those two by fours that just cross cut and put them on the back here to add some extra, you know, so I don't cut my fingers off. And I am going to try to see about um paste wax or something for the bottom of it but thank you and i'm gonna leave i'm gonna put where i'm talking about and stuff i'm gonna put uh the measurements of what i used on this so that y'all have it but even i did it and i'm so excited because it also makes a zero clearance which it isn't really zero clearance which makes me concerned about my blade now i think my blade is wonky which tells me i probably need a new blade but that'll be another video because I don't know if I know how to change the blade on my table saw. Um, I've changed the blade before, but my neighbor actually did it for me. But I was standing there while he did it. So I am surrounded by retired gentlemen who have done all this in their life and they're willing to help me learn. So I have watched someone do it. 
maybe I'll actually do it myself next time. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to learn with me. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.